Hi guys, I'm Ian. Thanks for tuning in to another video episode of the Forgotten Weapons Library. You've all been to gun shows, I'm sure, and so you've all seen, like, the old book guy who's there with maybe two tables and they're covered in really old books. There's nothing there printed after, like, 1970. And you really want to dig through them, but you know that it's all, like, you know, 50-year-old Winchester sporting rifle catalogs and, you know, just not of any interest. Well, there are some books in those piles that are really worthwhile, awesome books, and this is one of them. Textbook of Automatic Pistols. Name doesn't really jump out at you, a little dry. Um, this is a fantastic book, especially for anyone who's really into the forgotten weapons kind of um, gun knowledge. Uh, this was written by R.K. Wilson, he was a lieutenant colonel in the British Army. Uh, this was written in uh, 1940, published 1943. His aim, I think, was to create a total encyclopedia of guns, and what he ended up doing was every single automatic pistol created until ni created by 1935. They're all in here. All the really weird ones that you've never even heard of. Just going through the illustrations that he has, the Borchardt, the Pocket Bergman, uh, Target Bergmans, Military Bergmans, Schwarzlose, the Maxim automatic pistol, you may not even realize Maxim designed an automatic pistol. Uh, the Mars, the Webley, Colts, the Grant Hammond, there's an interesting one. Uh, well known for nothing, it had the interesting feature of automatically ejecting its magazine when you fired the last shot, which may not actually be a good thing in a military pistol. Um, Savage, Mauser, several Mausers, Mauser carbines, Manlikers, Manlicker carbines, the Roth Steyr, the Steyr Hahn. Uh, versions of the Parabellum, the Webley and Scott, the Dreyse, Brownings, Glacenti, Frommer, you name it, everything is in here. It's a great book. <coughs> um, there's an entire chapter on the U.S. 1907 pistol trials that eventually led to the adoption of the, the Colt 1911. Um, and one of the great things here is that this book goes into really good detail on the mechanics of how each one of these guns work. Uh, this isn't just kind of an overview of what they look like. This is a, a technical description of all the mechanisms. So it's not really light reading. It takes a couple goes, takes a, a couple times going through it to really let all the information sink in. But it's an outstanding reference for these old, older pistols, very early pistols, that you just can't find any information on. So this is definitely a book you should keep your eyes out for at the shows. Um, I took a look online to see if I could find a copy of it, and it's a little hit or miss. There's a, a modern, uh, a reprint version, leather bound. I can't say I've ever seen one, but uh, they appear to be going for 25 or 30 bucks, which is just an absolute steal of a deal for this much information. The original versions like this, which is uh, red bound, if you see it without the dust jacket, um, seem to go for somewhere on the order of 75 to 150 bucks. Uh, that's pretty expensive. I don't think I'd spend that today. Um, but I'll put a link to the, the reprint, and so if you're interested, take a look. Um, it's, like I said, it's a fascinating book. covers a ton of information that you're not going to find anywhere else. So, if you want to know more about these older pistols, you can either wait until I uh, put some really thorough pages up on the vault on Forgotten Weapons, or you can go get yourself a copy of the textbook of Automatic Pistols. Thanks for watching.